Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rabbi yassir wa la tuassir wa tamim bil hayy. Rabbi zidni ilma. Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are all good. This is the updated 7th edition of uh, D3. And today we will do exercise 14C and question number 8 to L10. Let's start students. Now students question number 8. A bag contains 20 potatoes, 4 of which are rotten. Bag B contains 12 potatoes, 3 of which are rotten. Jamil select one potato at random from each bag. And complete the tree diagram below to show the possible outcome of Jamil's selection. Uh, yes, we have to complete this uh, tree diagram. And these are the rotten and these are the good ones. The key is given to us. And that is a bag A and bag B. In bag A, there are 12 potatoes and 4 of which are rotten. So we can write the probability that of rotten is 4 over 20. The favorable outcomes and total number of possible outcomes. And good ones. Total is 20, 4 is rotten. We subtract uh, the 4 from 20, we get the 16. Good one are 16 over 20 this is about the bag number a now students in bag number b the three of which are rotten so we can write it like that three over 12 this is the possible favorable outcomes and this is the total number of possible outcomes now the good ones are we have to subtract the three from 12 we get the 9 over 12 and that the rotten is 3 by 12 in bag b and the good one is 9 over 12. Now students, this is the tree diagram and this is the possible number of outcomes. Now students, part number B, Jamil wants to find out the probability of selecting two rotten potatoes. He multiplied the probability along the RR, rotten, rotten branch, highlighted in red. And he says that he, he is using the multiplication law of probability. You can see that in the diagram that uh, this line is red, red, highlighted in red color. And uh, he wants to find the probability of this. And he using the multiple application law of probability. Yes, it's okay to find the probability. If we have to find the probability of RR, we have to multiply these. Because these are the independent event. So we can write there in the answer do you agree with what Jamil say explain your answer clearly yes yes because this is the independent event so we can apply there the multiplication law of probability independent and this is the independent event because uh, uh, in bag B contain different uh, potatoes. There is a no relation in between. And when we have to find the probability, we have to multiply it. And that's why it's okay that he apply the multiplication law of probability. And now students, uh, the question number 8 is solved. Now students question number 9, a red die has a number 1 on 1 face and number 2 on 2 faces and the number 3 on 3 faces. Two green dies each of the number 6 on the 1 face and the number 5 on the 5 faces. The 3 dices are rolled together. Copy and complete the take diagram shown by writing the probability on the branches. Now we have to write the probability on the branches. Red die has a number 1 on 1 face. So the probability is the total number of possible out outcomes of our dice are 6 and there is a only one chance to come 1 and then the probability is 1 by 6. A red die the probability of come the number 2 is 2 because the 2 is on 2 faces and 2 by 6 and 3 is 3. 3 by 6 and now the first die in the first die on 5 uh, the number 5 on 5 faces that's why the probability is 5 by 6 and the 6 is 1 by 6 again the two dies are same so we can write 5 by 5 by 6 and 6 1 by 6 
5 by 6 and 6 1 by 6. 5 comes 5 by 6 and 6 1 by 6. Number 5 is 5 by 6 and 6 is 1 by 6. 5 by 6 and 1 by 6. It's same. Yes. And 1 by 6. Because the number 5 is uh, 5 times on the uh, 5. Uh, because the number 5 is on the 5 faces. That's why we write 5 by 6 probability. And the number 6 is only the 1 face. And we write 1 by 6. Now using the tree diagram calculate the probability of obtaining. Now we have to use the tree diagram and obtain the probability. 2 on the red die, 5 on the first green die and 6 on the second green die. 2 on the red die in the first um, and 5 on the green die this one and next 6 on the second. This probability, this probability and this one. I am highlighting it. We have to combine these three probabilities. 2 red die, 5 on first green die and 6 on second green die. Now students in part number 1 we have to find the probability of 2, 5 and 6. 2 is 2 by 6 and this is 5 by 6 and this is 1 by 6. I, I ha already highlighted in the T diagram and by simplifying it we get now we have to simplify it by 2, 3 times and 5, 6, 3 times 18 and 18, 6 times 108 and this is a we get the answer by simplifying now students part number 2 uh, 3 on the red die 6 on the on each of the 2 green die 3 on a red die and 6 on this probability, this one. 3 on a red die and 6 in 6 on the 2 green die. Write the probability 3 over uh, 6, 1 by 6 and 1 by 6. 3 1 times and 3 2 times. 3 2 times 12 and 12 uh, 6 times 72. 1 over 72. This is the probability of second part. Now students, uh, third part, exactly two sixes. We have to find the probability in which there come the exactly two sixes. We can observe the T diagram. This is the T diagram, the 1, 6, 6. There is exactly two six. Two six six. There exactly comes the two six. And three six six. There exactly come the two six. So, we write the probability of 3's. We have to combine the probability of these 3's. We write the probability like that. 1, 6, 6 and plus probability 2, 6, 6 and probability 3, 6, 6, 6. Now, we write for 1 this. Uh, for 1, this is 1 by 1 by 6 and 6, 1 by 6 and 1 by 6. It is multiplied. And plus 2 by 6, 1 by 6 and 1 by 6. This is 3 and this is 3 by 6. Sorry, multiply 1 by 6, multiply 1 by 6. Now we have to solve it. By multiplying it, we get 1 by 2, 1, 6. And 2, 1 times 2, 3 times. By multiplying it, we get 1 over 1, 0, 8. And 3, 2 times. And by multiplying it, we get the 72. Now taking the LCM, LCM is 2, 1, 6. And 2, 1, 6, 1 times. 2 times there comes 2 and this is 3 times and there comes 3. By adding it we get 6 over 2 1 6 and 6 1 times 6. 6 um, 3 times 18 and uh, 3 carry and 6 6 times 36. The answer is 1 over 36. By simplifying it we get 1 over 36 exactly 2 6 6.
now students say part number four a sum of 12 we uh, from the t diagram we can see that we get the sum of 12 by adding 1 5 and 6 we get 12 1 6 and 5 we get 12 and 2 5 and 5 we get 12 these three are okay now we can write it like that fourth part a sum of 12 and the probability is 1 5 6 1 6 5 and 2 5 5 1 by 6 5 by 6 multiply by 1 by 6 and 1 by 6 1 by 6 and 5 by 6 and 2 by 6 and 5 by 6 multiply multiply 5 by 6 now we have to solve it and by solving it we get the 5 2 1 6 and by solving it we get the 5 2 1 6 2 1 times 2 3 times and we get the 25 over 108 by multiplying it we get the 108 by taking LCM 2165 plus 5 and 2 224 time 25 times 50 we get 60 over 216 it's uh, come in the table of uh, 6 10 6 times uh, 60 and 36 times Again, it's come in the table of uh, 2 to 5 times 10, 2 1 times 2 and 2 8 times 16. Now, by simplifying it, we get the answer 5 over 18. And this is the answer of fourth part. Now, students, the fifth part, a sum which is divisible by 3. And which sum is divisible, divisible by 3 is uh, there comes by adding it is 12 and 15 because there is no come 9 by adding these values we can get the values by adding these we only get the values uh, 12 and 16 we already find the sum of 18 and now we have to find the sum of 15 6 6 12 13 14 15 there is the only one value when we add up we get the 15 so we write there only that one value now so it's our sum which is divisible by 3 is a is equal to we have to find the probability of this and this probability is probability uh, sum of 12 or sum of 15 and we already find the sum of 12 this is 5 by 18 and the sum of 15 is a probability of uh, 3 6 and 6 5 by 18 and this is uh, 3 by 6 multiply by 1 by 6 and 1 by 6 3 2 times and we get 5 by 18 by multiplying it to uh, 6, 6 times 36 and 36 2 times 72, we get 72 and the LCM is 72, 18, 18, 72, 18. we get 4, 4, 5 times 20 and uh, 18, 4 times and this is 1, we get 21 over 72. Now the both values come in the table of uh, 3, 3, 7 times 21 and 3, 2 times 6, 1 carry 3, 4 times 12, yes, 7 by 24. This is the answer of part number 5. Now students, question number 9 is solved. Now students, question number 10, a woman goes to a supermarket once a month for grocery shopping. The probability that she buys a sack of rice is 4 by 9. Now we have to find the probability she will not buy a sack of rice in a particular month. Now she buy 
the probability is given to us which is 4 by 9 and we have to find the probability uh, of naught and you know that when we find the probability of naught we have to subtract it from 1 we have to subtract the probability from 1 now we have to find the probability of not buying and now students part number 1 the probability will be 1 minus 4 by 9 that is given in, uh, in the question 4 by 9 is a probability of buying a rice and we have to find the probability of not buying a sack of rice 9 5 minus 4 and uh, sorry 9 minus 4 1 9 times 9 1 times 9 9 minus 4 we get 5 over 9 and this is the probability of not finding a sack of rice Now, students in part number two, she will not buy a sack of rice in two particular consecutive months. Consecutive when one after another. And she is not buying a sack of rice in not particular a month. It means we have to multi find the already find the uh, the probability of not buying. We have to multiply it. And then we get the probability of two consecutive months of not buying a sack of rice so we can write the probabilities like that 9 by 5 multiply by 9 by 5 and we get the 25 over 81 and this is the probability of not buying a sack in two consecutive months month is 5 by 9 now we have to combine with its second month and we have to multiply it by it 9 by 5 and it is 25 over 81. Now students see part number 3. She buys a sack of rice in just one of two particular months. She buys in just one of the two particular months. In one month she buys a sack of rice. Maybe she buys a sack of rice or not. In second month maybe... A by a sack of right or not so we can write it like that the probability of buying a sack of rice and probability of not buying a sack of rice or or means addition probability of buying the sack of not buying a sack of rice and probability of finding the by the sack of rice now we have to solve it for 5 times 20 over 81 and 20 over 81. By adding it we get 40 over 81. And now students uh, this is the probability of a sack of right in one of the two particular months. And now students this question is solved. And question number 10 is done. I hope you understand these questions very well. Thank you very much students for watching my videos. Take care of yourself. Allah Hafiz.